Hey guys, how's it going? Nexus 5 here. Wait a second. Another Nexus 5 video? I I'm unsubscribing! This is the last Nexus 5 video in a while, I swear, guys. I just had this lying around and I just couldn't get rid of it. So, I'm sorry, another Nexus 5 video for you all. I'm sorry, Muhammad AF in particular. I, I swear, this is, this is the last one. This is the last one for a while. I am not going to touch that Nexus anytime soon. Anyways, continuing. This is Asani from Ashtag and today I'm bringing you a review of the Slim Rom Nougat for the Nexus 5. Let's get right into it. Starting off, as always, I'm going to show you an overview of the software and I'm obviously going to tell you about the special features as well. So. This is the Slim ROM and the Slim ROMs have been known for being the lightest ROMs for all devices for a while now. Well here the lock screen and the home screen look uh, just like the stock Nougat lock screen and home screen and same is the case with the notification panel. And there are not much apps installed, I can see that clearly. You obviously have the feature that is the 3D touch light feature and going to settings you can confirm that this is indeed a Nexus 5 new ROM. It doesn't have any button effects though. Now pressing that now recent apps button you'll be greeted with a much different screen than you might be used to. You can't really go to the split screen function with that but you can change that in the interface section in the settings that is another feature of this rom you can customize it uh, fully i mean at least the few features it has are customizable so that's nice you can obviously enable the expanded mode and disable the slim recents which gives you back your classic nougat experience but you still can't select that shortcut for the button to open uh, split screen directly by long pressing it although you can strangely add a separate split screen button which looks absurd in my opinion and the long press actions didn't have the split screen as an option so yeah that's why you can't set that obviously you can reset the buttons and you had up to five and there are a lot of features uh, for example the dim button on in activity and obviously they fade away and when you interact with them they come back to life again so those are the features now let's jump into the speed and stability and you guys already know what to expect the nexus 5 is somehow so well optimized that with any rom installed basically it's fast and fluid it might not be as fast as say the nitrogen os rom or the pure nexus rom but it is pretty fast and it's faster than uh, some of the newer samsung phones no not the s8 but maybe the s6 or s5 which is surprising to say the least because they have better processors but they still reach them due to its fluid experience and just the quick app opening and app switching you can see my speed test for the nexus 5 over there if you'd like to so obviously you have the slim recents which are pretty good i would say for multitasking you don't have the double tap to switch apps unfortunately with slim recents but they are easy to use i would give it that okay and the camera does work camera is perfectly stable and uh, i don't think i experienced any particular crashes with this rom as a whole now moving into the battery life section the battery life of this rom is average at best it gives you the battery life that you would expect two hours to two hours 30 minutes hours of screen on time max and yeah bugs and issues let's tell you about that now 
I couldn't really experience any sort of bug. It did glitch a little, but I couldn't reproduce it on camera. So I would say this ROM is pretty stable. Okay, now with all of that in mind, I think it would be safe to jump to the conclusion. So guys, that was the Splint Media ROM for the screen of the pack, and I would say it's a pretty good ROM, but just know that there are better ROMs in this that are lighter and faster than this. So this is not your only option, is what I'm saying. Go check out my other Nexus 5 ROM reviews. I would recommend this ROM, and I would at least recommend you to try this, and the next video won't be an Nexus 5 video, I swear it would be. Probably an S4 or, or maybe a Note 8 video. And if I sound weird in this video, please forgive me. I was a little, a little bit exhausted and sleepy. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and happy.